Hey everybody, Sean here from BoardParacord.com. Today I want to take one of my Solomon bracelets, and I'm actually making this for a Cleveland Browns game that I'm going to in a couple weeks. Um, I'm going to take a regular Solomon or Cobra, and I'm going to do a little bit of lacing with this um, with this microcord, this neon orange microcord. I was thinking how I could use a FID to do the stitching on this. So what I came up with, is I just use a regular 550 FID. Um, these are made by Mr. Coop. They're on the website. I sell these. And I just took a little piece of scrap that I had left, and we're just going to... This is regular 550 cord. This is going to go... We're going to thread this in. And this works great. I just did a bracelet doing this method. It works really, really well. Get your, uh, get your micro cord ready, just in your hand, just like that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to melt this green right here. And then basically while it's still liquid, you're just going to stick this inside of there and let it cool. Once it's in there, I actually tried pulling it apart from the green and I pulled this out from inside the fid. So it does hold very well. It worked out very well for me. So I'm just going to melt the ends of this real quick. And you want to melt quite a bit of it because you're going to need that to be nice and liquid. You're going to stick your your micro cord in there just like that and then I like to roll it in there so that it's kind of encased inside of that and that's in there alright so now that we have that another great way you can um, you can kind of use a fid on well I, I wouldn't say a fid but kind of a, a lacing needle is get a bobby pin and all you have to do is put the bobby pin through the way that you want your cord to go and then you have a loop that you can thread your cord through and pull it through. That's another way if you don't have a set of fids, but this works real good um, either way. So I've got about six feet of the micro cord. It comes in a 125 foot spool just like this. And I think it's about $5, $6, somewhere right in there for a, a spool of that. And it'll last you a long time. Um, so the first thing I want to do is find the side that has the melted ends which is this side and we want to start at the other end so you're gonna find on the Cobra the first the first hump which is this one right here and you're just gonna go up through that spot right there and I'm gonna pull all this through what I want to do I actually want to wrap this around and kind of tie us just a quick overhand knot just so that that doesn't pull through so just like that and then at the end I'll undo that and we'll be good alright so you went up under this first one now you're gonna skip the next one which is this one here and go to the next one over and go down toward the outside of the bracelet pull all your excess through and we might have to fix this at the very end, but I think I think we'll be all right. Okay, so now once you're through this one, then you're going to loop back over to the second or the first one on this side, and come up through there towards the towards the other side of the bracelet. And you want to make sure that you go over that first pass. So every time you come up through there, you want to make sure you go over the first one. And then we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to skip the next one and go to the third one. So we started at one and we went to two, then back to one. From one, we go to three. So you're going to skip this one because that's where our second pass is going to go through. So this is pass one. So you're going through the hump there. And then you're going to bring it back through this one. And remember, you want to go over top of this cord here. Let's pull all that through. And you're going to do the same thing now. You're going to skip the one that's directly across from it. So you got the cord coming up through here. It's coming up through this hump here. You don't want to go to this one. You want to go to the next one. Because that cord is going to go through here and it's going to loop back around and come through this one. So you always want to skip the one that's directly across. 
just like that. Go back one. You're going to come through that and go. Remember to go over that first cord. There we go. And you want to skip the one that's directly across from it. Go there. Oh, there goes my phone. <laughs> uh, Alright, so backtrack one. Come up through. Up and over. Skip one. So these are pretty easy to do once you get the hang of it. And then you're going to backtrack one. And you can see this FID is working. I mean, this, I'm, I couldn't be happier with this. Um, I've been looking at different needles to carry in the, in the website. And it's, it's very possible I might get some smaller lacing needles where you would thread it into it. Um, but right now, this is working pretty good. I'm actually going to make a video, I think, on just how to do this. Um, but now you can see this needs to be tightened up a little bit. It looks like I'm probably on this first one. I'm probably going to have to uh, run that back. I, I did the knot. I did this first knot wrong, so I'm going to have to run that back um, when I get all finished. Six feet of this micro cord should be enough to do a bracelet, it looks like. Um, that should be enough information on how to do this. It's real easy. You're just going to skip one, kind of loop it around, skip one, loop it around, skip one, loop it around. It's real simple. And it does need to be tightened. You can see I can get my whole fit in there pretty easily. Um, I'll do that when I get to the end. Um, so next time I come back, I will be at the end and I will have had this tightened all the way up. So I'll be back to show you how to finish this off. Okay, so I've got this all finished up. Um, I do want to show you one thing that I did when I ended it. I was able to run the FID right next to where I melted this. So it's coming through that same hole that this, this last cord came through where I melted it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish it right there. We're going to cut the cord about about there and my goal and I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this on my first try I haven't tried it like this yet I want to melt this right to that I want to melt it right on top of that so we'll see what happens here I think I think we might have got it yeah yeah well next to it anyway but that looks good. That's not going to go anywhere. Okay, so that's the end of it. You really can't finish it too much more than that at this end because of the cord that's coming up through there. Now on this end, I'm not sure what I've got to do here yet. Um, I think what I'm going to do is basically take this cord and run it down through this hump here and finish it right there. And the only reason I'm doing that is because kind of messed up the beginning and I don't really want to go back and fin fix it so um, now if this was like a customer of mine I would go back and redo the beginning but this is one of my mine that I'm going to wear so I'm not too worried about it I'm just going to cut this here and melt it right in place and that should be good enough but I think this turned out really good. I haven't even tightened this yet, and I don't know that you need to. So I hope you like this. This is just a simple way to add some uh, extra flair to a basic Cobra. Um, don't forget to check out the website, boardparacord.com. You can pick up the microcord. And the Facebook group, Paracord On. Facebook.com slash groups slash Paracord On. And I'll see you there. Thanks for watching. And Paracord On.